Good morning, I'm Leslie Gray. Uh, I'm a makeup artist slash painter. I work with several mediums, including design, um, and I form, I've lived in art space for almost a year now, and my involvement with it is basically um, helping run one of the businesses that's on the first floor. So it's Calavera Culture Shop, we're a graffiti shop. And then also I have my makeup studio in the fourth floor where I continuously collaborate with photographers, models, and stylists. This is Eric Pearson, and I'm the president and CEO of the El Paso Community Foundation, which uh, really, you know, was the local partner for the Roderick Lofts. Well, hi, I'm Gino Ibarra. I am a art space resident and I am a sculptor and an illustrator and I'm getting into painting recently. About 11 years ago now, we stepped back and said, how are we gonna make the arts grow organically? And it was an economic development driver. Uh, it creates an actual sense of neighborhood in downtown. Changing it from offices in the day and nightclubs at night into people who live and have a stake and, and care about what happens here. And so they become part of what becomes a bona fide neighborhood, which we haven't had in downtown since the 1980s. My name is Paulina Rosas. I am a metalsmith and graphic designer. And my involvement with the art space is I'm just a happy resident and a happy member of the events committee. So who's second floor? Second Me. floor. Okay, so I think we're equally second, third, and fourth floor. So we'll just put paste them up in our hallways. Okay, yeah, sounds good. We're asking residents to post their artwork uh, outside in the hallways. We're trying to sort of um, decorate it for the grand opening. We're having tours on the floors with open studios. So we drew these silly posters with like this terrible art, and we're like, you know. This is terrible, we need your art here. It's gonna be our biggest event yet. Grand opening, October 26th from six to nine, and the gallery is gonna be open. It's gonna showcase artwork. Well, it definitely is a very vibrant community. Um, it's filled with different creative forces that have their own aesthetic. So I think that's what makes it very powerful. Um, everybody basically has their own work that they've been working on for years or previously. And basically now that they're here at Art Space, it's finally getting to that point where everybody can collaborate and merge those styles. Art Space is a, a national nonprofit that does developments such as this. We felt like they were a, a good fit for what we were trying to do. And so here we are. Michelle Delgado. My artwork, it's a variety of things. I would call myself a fabric artist. I make plush creations, original. Uh, everything's handmade. I'm also a freelance illustrator. Having an environment where it's extremely creative, where everyone is trying to thrive and push, makes you want to thrive and push too. So, you know, like, hey, I want to be like them. I want to I wanna create. Like, I, that's what I started doing this because I really love it and it really gets me through the day. I think that we are also at the forefront of technology. We have in the first floor um, a site called Fab Lab. So that's a great opportunity because they basically bring in technology like 3D printers, laser cutters, things like that. So having that at art space is an opportunity to basically evolve your art form in the forefront of technology. Downtown El Paso is barely flourishing. So I feel like the local businesses are starting to set their eye on Roderick and beginning to reach out to us to be involved. Um, at the craft shop, we've already had local business owners stop on by and ask to see if we can link them up with artists to create murals for their businesses, to create logos for their personal freelancing, to create websites, to maybe even um, create performances to bring people to the downtown area. So it's kind of like emer this emergence of opportunities for everybody, not just the people that live at Roderick, but the people around it. So I think that Roderick is creating those opportunities and I feel blessed and I feel grateful to be able to share it with people that I love, admire and get inspired by. We have a long ways to go, you know, we still have a lot of work to do and, but you know, that's part of what makes it excited as well to sort of think of yourself like, oh, you know, I'm there pushing it, you know, hopefully it takes off and it works well and, you know, and it sort of make you proud that you can look back and be like, well, you know, I, I put, you know, put my, uh, I laid a brick and <laughs> helped build that.